What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video, another reaction. Today, guys, we got episode two of Voice Plays Collide. Um, so today, guys, we got Can't Believe It uh, by Voice Play featuring Emoni. So Emoni Wilkins, just like I said about Rachel Potter in the last video, if you guys are big fans of Voice Play, you guys should know who Emoni Wilkins is. Uh, so this is actually one of the songs on this album that I've actually never heard. Uh, so this will be just as new for me as it is for anybody who hasn't heard it watching this video. Um, so there's not a whole lot I can say about this just because there's nothing really that I know about it. Uh, so without further ado, I know this is, is probably going to be a little shorter one considering it's only about two minutes and then their outros are about another 20 seconds or so. Um, but yeah, let's get right on into this, guys. I'm excited to hear what Voice Play does with this one. This one has a million views as well, so it can't be. I can't believe it. A white girl got I want to see it. A black girl got Oh, it ain't a secret. Baby, turn around. I want to see it. I, I, I don't. I'm not trying to make fun of it, but like, I just. <laughs> just her hair was almost covering up. Ellie at the very beginning, and it was blowing my mind. There's a lot to process. I can't believe it. A white girl got I want to see it. What? A black girl got Oh, it ain't a secret. Baby, turn around. I want to see it. Trying to see it. Got to see it. So I remember one thing, and it's the baseline that Jeff is currently doing. I'm, I'm only moving this down here so we can also see Tony. Oh, that's such a good sounding bass line. Not because of who Jeff is and just his tone, because I mean, if that was what all we were basing it off of, every song would be good. But I'm really liking um, just the rhythm and melody of that bass line. Um, just, it, it's flowing really well. <laughs> She got that but don't get don't get don't get don't get things so fat, things so chunky. Call me Michael Jackson, hee hee, cause I love to play with monkeys. This is the Miami thing that is right. Is that racist? I'm not gonna get into any of that, but he they said, call me Michael Jackson, hee hee, because I like to play with monkeys. Did he own a monkey or something at one point? Is that what I... Okay, maybe it's not a racism thing. Did he own a monkey? Because I actually feel like that is something that was true at one point. I'm not sure. What is my hair doing? I don't like what it looks like. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, but, <laughs> what was that face? I did this one. I'm more entertained by just everything that's going on in this. She got that but don't, 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 don't get things so fat, things so chunky. Call me Michael Jackson, hee hee, because I love to play with monkeys. This is the Miami that is right. We never get anything that is right. I do not care where you think you are from. As long as you got that bubble, bubble, yum. She got that. She got that bubble, yum. She got that bubble, yum. She got that. She got that. That is. Really she got that. She got that. She got that. She got that. She looks good, she looks bad, she pick it up, drop it down, look bad. Okay, I'm gonna say this right now, but in terms of beat drops that sound like, not necessarily EDM or dubstep, but just within that genre, the... Lane and Jeff do a tremendous job. Obviously, I love the basses from and beatboxes from all the groups, um, like the two obviously that come to mind, obviously being Adam um, and Tim, and then Kevin and Matt, Kevin Avi, uh, depending on their era. Um, they're all good at their own things in their different groups. You know, um, I believe Adam from Home Free is the best when it comes to an actual drum set and kit. Adam is the best when it comes to that. 
I think um, in terms of just overall abilities and different things he's able to do, um, Kevin, you know, him and Lane kind of go hand in hand because obviously Kellen, Kevin plays the cello and Lane plays the violin. But I do believe that Kevin maybe um, in terms of, I, I don't want to say this because I really love Lane. I do, Lane is my favorite. We'll say that. Lane is my favorite, but I do like a lot of things that Kevin does. And like, Kevin has a lot of talent for that stuff. But I do believe when it comes to anything that's beat drop, EDM, dubstep type bass, like pop bass, um, these two are really, really good at that. He's like, fan her off, bro, fan her off. Uh, do y'all see this? Wait, watch this. Oh, we're still muted. No. Ah! <laughs> that is another thing I really love about voice play. Um, obviously, we love their theatrical style. We obviously love their music and vocal abilities. Um, but voice play always has the tendency to add some comedic relief and just to maybe... You, uh, obviously on the more serious songs like the one that just came out um, I Can't Make You Love Me not really but like um, something that's more upbeat and fun they always add something funny like the first one that comes to mind um, I actually watched her reaction earlier um, Jennifer's reaction to uh, Boy Bands in 5 Minutes um, Lane in one of their songs they're dancing he's looking the opposite way and dancing the complete opposite of what they're doing and it's just something like that kind of comedic relief or when he hands them a sandwich um rest in peace obviously um but when he hands him a sandwich you know like just the small comedic things is really what i also love about voice playing getting them set apart obviously home free is just as goofy um when i'm thinking about like all about that bass or the butt remix or different stuff like that um Really good voice play at making that kind of comedic relief and great timing. Um, like I said, though, vo uh, just Jeff and Lane just go like peanut butter and jelly, bro. I mean, I know in like the sing off, you know, they uh, he talked about um, Avi and Kevin. He's like, no longer Avi and Kevin near meat and potatoes. Like, that's how I feel about Jeff and Lane and their whole chemistry. I mean, these guys are practically brothers at this point. I mean, even if they're not blood related, I mean, these guys are as close as you can get um yeah if you this everybody thanks for watching oh, oh this I is i can't believe it i can't believe it this is imani say hi imani the chicken check her out imani loves music dot com she's gonna I'm be Moni. blowing up <laughs> all over the place they're gonna be blowing up all over the place how can you miss all this true <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe the gum chewing is sending me, bro. That gum chewing is sending me. Stop. Quit. We can't. We can't do that. <laughs> so really, like I said, just a short one. I know some of these on this album are actually shorter, um, but I mean, it's voice play. What, what are you going to do? Um, but yeah, if you guys like this as much as I did, like I said in the last one, go check out more voice play stuff. Um, but yeah, like the video, if you, um, comment down below what else you guys want to see me react to next. As always, subscribe if you are new. You have my love and affection forever. Uh, like I said in the previous one, also stick around for the next one as we are doing a full album review. So stick around for episode three. Um, but yeah, dude, it, I, it's just, there was a lot to take in with this. It like they were in a candy comic book shop. I mean, that, that was every guy's dream back in the day i mean i would just love to just read comic books and you know eat junk food but uh you know we always we gotta stay on the fit side <laughs> i'm just kidding uh, but yeah like i said if you guys like this video make sure let me know um what else you guys want to see me react to um and as always i hope you guys enjoy peace <laughs>